Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another floss tube episode for you. I believe this is number 108. Something like that. Anyway, regardless, if you haven't been here before, welcome in. This is a, a particular video on my channel where every so often I come on and show you my cross stitching and knitting. Uh, today I actually have a little bit of crochet to show you as well. And I have been, I have been very busy this summer. We've had a lot of guests and visitors, so I haven't had a lot of time for crafting and that's why I haven't been making regular floss tube updates. Also, my diamond painting bug hit, bit me again, like really, really, really hard. I'm super close to a finish. I'm looking at it right now. It's right here in front of me, but it's a mystery kit. And because it's a mystery kit, I will not be sharing it on social media and stuff at least until it's been out for a year and then I feel like it's safe enough. Uh, but if you would like to see it when it's finished, I will be making a specific video for that as well. Um, yes, so my name is Rachel. I go by Rachel Ray on the internet. That's my dog making all the sounds. And uh, that's Luna, she, this one. And uh, yeah, that this is it's been it's a little awkward right it's a little awkward coming back I've been over on twitch a lot uh, twitch is a streaming service and we've been having a lot of fun over there if you've been with me for a while you know this um, and I just changed everything in my backdrop so I'm gonna give you a little tour this is uh, an Oraloa these are all diamond paintings, by the way. Uh, Oraloa Time to Witch. This is a custom of my dog, Luna. I took the photo. That's a little unicorn from Pippa. <laughs> um, I showed this little hat in my last video. This up here is Nightbringer by Diamond Art Club. This is Kimono by Diamond Shop. You can't see it, but up there is After the Rain by Diamond Art Club. This is Halloween Secrets by Treasure Studios Art, and this is Frida Kahlo, and I painted it myself. Yeah, I went to one of those um, paint and sip nights. It was really fun. <laughs> I must get back into that for the winter. Now, uh, without any more delays, let me tell you about my cross stitching. So last time I shared a few whips. I only had two, I think. It's just life right now. And I have a few more to show you this time. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm, there's no particular order to this now, honestly, truthfully, because I haven't really done much, but <laughs> Halloween has bit me. I'm, I'm ready to do all of the Halloween stitching. I've put up my fall themed diamond paintings. I'm ready for this. This right here is a bag from the 805 Stitcher and it's so cute. This holds my Midnight Way Stitch Along by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And if I get in here, I can show you all the things. Let's talk about all the things. Let's take our time today. So this was started on August 17th of 2020, and today is August 20th, 2022. I'm not a fast stitcher. I'm not. I'm not. I, I get distracted, you see. So here is my Midnight Way. And I can tell you exactly what I did last time. So since last time, I have a picture. I'll put the picture up. This is where I was last time. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing this. And this is where I am now. Um, this, this shop right here is what I worked on. And all I had was the ghosty and I had a few outlines of the building. Unfortunately, so I, I worked on this while I was streaming on Twitch. And I noticed that over here, there was a mistake. And so I had to fix that mistake. So this star is in the wrong spot. It, it can live there. It's a star. It's fine. Um, but this is the bookshop. This is called the Ghost Writer Bookshop. And so I've got a little bit more backstitching to do in the sign to make it say shop. And then up here we have an orange book, an orange and a green book, I think. Um, and then there may be some more stars as well. Then all I have left to do is this bottom border and this will be finished. So I am trying for a finish on this one. Honestly, 
The only thing that has kept me from working on this and others like it is that there's a lot of color changing. There was a lot of different colors going on down here and it does. It makes it a little bit difficult. So anyhow, uh, this is my beautiful Midnight Way. This is on 28 Count Whimsy by Picture This Plus. It's a linen and I think it's a gorgeous color. It's It really is that lavender, that beautiful lavender color. So yes, getting closer to a finish on this one. Next up, I'm going to take off the clips while um, while we're talking because I need to use this as a backdrop for the next one. The next project that I have been working on, and I've really been focusing on this one, uh, when I am in the mood to stitch, this one is Savor Life by Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. I think on the, on the thing it says Catherine. On her pattern it says Catherine. Catherine Landis. And this came in a box. So I'll go ahead and put a picture on the screen of where it was last time so that you can see how much progress I've actually made and where we are now. The light is kind of, it doesn't, the camera does not like this piece. Um, this is the most beautiful dark linen ever. This is a 36 count called French Lilac by Picture This Plus. And basically what I've done is I've filled in all the stars, the flower buds, the moons. I've moved down the vine here and I've done the antenna of the moth that'll be at the bottom. It looks, the moth looks just like the needle minder. So this piece, it, it, it is this dark. <laughs> um, I started this. Oh, good question. I don't have the, I don't have the um, project tracker with me, but I believe that I started this last year. It came in the night garden box and I have trouble seeing the holes. Now, we're going to have a little product placement here in a second because it's the only thing that's been uh, helping me to work on this. Um, but I said that I'd like to work on this during the summer months so that I can actually see the holes because it's such a dark fabric. Um, and I did. I got I got a few hundred stitches in on it. Not a lot. I'll be honest. It takes me a lot longer to stitch on the darker fabrics, but it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. And I can't wait to show you the whole thing when I'm finished. So another few weeks on this one and it'll be completely finished. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to say about it. The only thing that I can say, and I'm going to segue this now because I got, I got an email from a company called BenQ and they make reading lamps. Um, I was a little hesitant at first because it's been a long time since I've had a company contact me to talk about a, a product of theirs. But one of the things that I struggle with a lot is lighting. I live in rural Ireland. It rains a lot. It affects my lighting a lot. And yes, I can, I have film lighting, but that film lighting is super harsh uh, for stitching. It gets in your eyes and it makes it uncomfortable. In fact, just, just having the studio lights on me right now is a little bit, you know? So they asked me if I'd be willing to test out one of their reading lamps. And I said, yes, absolutely. Of course, please send it on. So this right here, this, this thing is a very, very sturdy reading lamp. It goes in this direction. It only goes up and down from the base like this. And basically this curve, let's see if I can hold it here. This curve helps you 
to distribute the light more horizontally and less into your eyes. I'm trying to think of how to how to explain this and it be like, you know, easy to understand. The differences between this light and the light that I usually used to use clipped onto my uh, lap stand. With this light, it's perfect for sitting in front of the computer. I'm going to put it down because it's very heavy. It's perfect for sitting in front of the computer because it has two different modes. It has like a screen reading mode. So it hangs right here in front of me looking at my computer and it it lights up the area around the computer so that my eyes aren't straining as much from the light coming from the monitor. So there's a big plus there. But it also has a book mode as well. You can use it to read books. I've been using it a lot for crafting. So I've been using it while I'm diamond painting. Incredible. There's no glare on the glue. So, you know, I'm not I'm not kind of going like this, you know, and having light shine up from the poured glue on my canvases. But it also works super, super well when you're cross stitching. And because it is, you know, it's overhead, but it's also shining right down here. The two different modes work well, depending on the different times of day that you're working on your project. And I've just found it overall to be a really, really good product. And I think that for the price that it is, it is quite an investment, I will say that, but it works a lot, lot better than the Amazon clip-on light that I got uh, a few years ago. That it, it died about a year and a week after I bought it, of course, because it only came with a one-year manufacturer's warranty. And also the other thing is that my old stitching clampy light used to get really, really hot to the touch and it would emit heat and it was just very uncomfortable, especially in the summertime to have that like the heat coming right on my face. This one with this light, there is no there is no heat that it comes off. Um, it's a touch lamp try to bring it closer. I know that I'm terrible at infomercials. I'm not an infomercial person. Y'all should know this. Uh, but you tap it to turn it on. See light. Uh, you tap it to turn it off. You tap it on and you hold and it changes the type of light. Green, the green light here means screen. And then the orange light means book. So as you can see, the book light is a lot, lot brighter. I'm not going to shine it in your face, but you can also change the intensity of the light using the dial. And it's just, it's wonderful. It's, it's really, really nice. So if it, if it's, if you don't want a bright light, you don't have to have a bright light, but if you need, if you're like me and you're stitching on 36 count one over two, uh, and it's a really dark fabric, you can have it really, really bright and you can see those holes really, really well. So, BenQ did ask me to leave my recommendations, my review in in a video, and I am going to share it. Uh, I wanted to share it with you today because I have been obsessed with this thing and I can't wait to use it today. Today, I'm actually going to be stitching on a new project. So I have a, I have a new start. I did talk about it last time, but I'm going to talk about it again because... It's floss tube. This is going to be my uh, Barbara Anna, the Santa, the Dove, and the Key. You have a picture. This is 28 Count Muadib by Lappin Loops on Etsy. That is the color of the fabric. And then. Sorry, I don't know why it's all raggedy, but anyway, that doesn't matter. I gotta get the other colors out from underneath. There we go. Those colors are so pretty. They look so good on this fabric, I, I have to say. So 
So I'm all ready to start. And the reason that I am starting this today is because my friend Jesse of MislaidPages.com is going to be doing a 12 hour stream over on Twitch today. So by the time this goes up, you might actually still be able to catch her. Um, Twitch.tv slash MislaidPages. 12 hours. 12 hours. I don't know what all uh, they're going to be doing, but I'm going to be doing this. I want to start. I want to start badly. Um, and this time I am not centering my fabric. I'm just going to let it happen. Just let it, let it all happen. Okay, there's a couple other things that I want to talk about and then I'll show you my crochet. So I hope that I'm not taking up too much of your time, but you're here already, so let's keep going. Um, I got happy mail from a friend of mine who hangs out with me over on Twitch a lot. Her name is Ashley. And her company is monkey underscore and mouse on Instagram. Please check her out. She makes project bags and she's in Canada and she made me two project bags. I showed this off on my channel earlier. So uh, if you've seen this before, I'm sorry, you're going to see it again. This one is a science bag. I love science. I believe in space. Um, this is such a cute fabric. It's just like formulas and stem that's all i can say stem now i know i'm a, i'm an arts and humanities person but i love our science community uh the inside is just a nice plain gray nice and neutral there's some loops in there if you want to use them to hang anything and she sent me another one she sent me another one and i've already got a project in it i'll tell you my my plans for this project this is the other bag. These are mermen. There's all sorts of mermen. One of them kind of looks like James to me. <laughs> but I love this fabric so, so much. This bag also has a Velcro. I think she's designing a new type as well. This one also has loops. And this one has a clasp as well, which I think is super, super cool. And in here, I've been talking about this a lot over on Twitch. So I know that my Twitch friends are probably sick of me talking about it, but here's the story. So those of you who watch me and like what I do probably know that I, I love Autumn Lane Stitchery and I did their Dark Queen of the Sea Sal last year. Sal stands for Stitch Along, by the way. So I did the Dark Queen of the Sea stitch along last year, and this year they announced that they are going to be doing a Dark Queen of the Earth. And I'm over here, and I know that you can see, these are all my whips right here. And I have a few more whips that aren't in there. Um, I already have, I went, I went kind of cuckoo banana crazy pants over the pandemic buying cross stitch supplies because things were going out of stock and we didn't know if they were coming back, especially things that have beads in them. And so I had to think about it. And I think I personally think that I'm being smart about this, but some people might think that I'm being, I want you to go and start the dark queen of the earth Sal with autumn lane stitchery. That's what I'm trying to say. Go do it. If it's in your means and you're allowed and you can do it, do it. But I have a project that's kitted up completely already and I want to do it with my friends who are doing the stitch along. This is a Bella Filipina and it's called Gaia, the Earth Goddess. This has been in my stash for a long time. In fact, I bought I bought fabric for this, I think at the end of 2020. Unfortunately, the fabric that I had chosen, it was Tree Hugger by Bee Stitch Me, which is beautiful and it's a dark green and brown and it's gorgeous. It clashed too much with the colors and it would have blended in too much. I used this website. Let's, let's go over there. This is the Design and Fabric Viewer website. It's designandfabricviewer.com. This is what it looks like on white. 
And what I was doing was going into the fabrics section and searching. I searched for the fabric that looked the closest to the one that I had purchased, which was, I believe, which one did I use? Monster. This is basically what it would have looked like if I had put Gaia on the fabric that I had chosen originally. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't like it. Um, it it didn't pop enough for me. You can see the greenery gets lost. It might work for someone else. But when I did this, I realized that it wasn't for me. So I'm going to show you what I did do. Um, I first tried looking at it on a fabric that I owned, which was Outback Jack. And I thought, you know, that's okay. But I tried it on this one. This is called Revolution by Pole Stitches. And I really like the way that this pops. Compared to the one that I just showed you, this one or this one, right? So I think, I think, was it, uh, la, 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 no, she's not there. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to this anyway. Um, the, whoosh, the fabric that I decided to get It's a bit, oh, it smells so good. This is XJU Designs. I love, I love the way that her fabrics smell. This is called Marbled Bunny. It's a 32 count. Because I really like 32 count. And I think we're going this way. I think that's what I decided. Marbled Bunny. Kind of looks like toast but lighter. Oh, she does use very strong scent, scented um, fabric softener. So if you don't like scents on your fabrics, then you may want to stay clear, but oh my goodness. So this is, like I said, XJU Designs is on Etsy. I think that they also sell on certain websites. Like if you're in the United States, um, if you're in the United States, I believe there's somebody, let me know if you know of a store that has XJU designs. I think, I think I know, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Anyway, I've got my needle stuck in where I need to start and I'm ready to go. Okay. So we've got Gaia, we've got the new fabric and I've got all of the DMC. I ordered this from Hawkins Hobbies. All of the beads. All of the specialty threads. So there are, it's, it's very cool. Uh, this one takes a Caron Water Lilies called Espresso. It's very pretty. Let's just look, let's just look. I'm getting my hype ready because I'm starting this September 1st. That is espresso. Wow. Look at all those colors. The filming light really brings them out. You see? And I know she's a springtime goddess, but, or sort of, but, uh, what else? There's a lot of orange and yellow in this. <gasps> all the beads. I wonder if you'll be able to see them through the plastic. We'll try. beautiful beads. And then a whole bucket load of DMC, mostly yellow. <laughs> it's taking everything in me to not start this like right now, honestly. So basically what it, my plan my intention is to stitch this with my friends who are also doing the Autumn Lane Stitchery, Dark Queen of the Earth, Gaia, the Earth Goddess. Um, I'm going to stitch along with them and I'm going to separate the pattern into parts 
and 12 parts and then I will just stitch along with them. That's the idea. That's the hope. That's the dream, right? So that's stitching. That's stitching. Let's talk about crochet. So <laughs> a few, oh, and oh, no, wait, giveaway. I had a giveaway last video for the So Dry Set Wet. Do I have the envelope near me? I don't. Uh, Michelle Bendy sent me a freebie thanks to a giveaway that she had on her channel. I stitched it and now I'm passing it on. And Christy Burke is the winner. Uh, I asked for uh, the anyone who is interested to write the word prairie in their comment and Christy did. And so it goes to Christy. Um, this time I don't really, I don't really have anything this time, but maybe next time, maybe next time I'll organize something nice. Um, but, but just so that you know, before you leave, if you, if you leave after cross stitch, um, I will be doing a de-stash soon and I'm going to be de-stashing some of my kitted up projects. So keep an eye out on my website, rachelraycraft.com for updates on the, on the de-stash. But until then, I'll also be de-stashing, um, I'll also be de-stashing diamond paintings if you're into that too. I started, I started a uh, cardigan called the Stony Shore Cardigan. I follow Evelyn and Peter Rachel over on Instagram and they have a cardigan called the Stony Shore. It's a crochet pattern. And when I saw it in January, I wanted it immediately. I ripped out an old project of mine, which was just a knitted cardigan. I have the, this one, the Marrakesh cardigan. It was too boring. It was just, it was just a little too boring for me. So uh, I ripped it out and I started over. And then <laughs> I realized that my gauge was wrong. So I had to rip it out. And you may have seen on Instagram, I put a picture up that the yarn ball that I had made was the size of my dog. And now it's not. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, did I not finish this stitch? So here we are. I might, I might just finish this one stitch and then... <laughs> Why did I leave it like that? Okay. I must have been very tired. This is my couch project. So I play with this while watching TV. And this is the back panel of the cardigan. It's so beautiful. I love it. Basically, it's double crochets and then this like plump uh, uh, tornado looking thing. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but I'm, I know that there's a word for it, but I don't know what to call it. But anyway, that's the back panel. Uh, originally, when I was I was crocheting my heart out and going super fast and then I got to the right height. This is now at chest height, so I have a little bit more. I'd say probably five more rows, six more rows, sorry. And then I've got the back panel done. But originally, the width of this <laughs> was quite a bit larger. I mean, I think there was about that much extra, and it was too big. It was too big. The idea is that, and it shouldn't go on the shoulders, but it should reach the middle of your body, right? And I want it to be a little bit more snug on me and not as big as it was on the model, the stitcher, or the, the sorry, the, the hooker, <laughs> the designer, because um, we have different body shapes and snug things look better on me. So um, I'm making mine a little bit smaller now and it looks great to me, it looks fantastic can't wait. And it is so relaxing to do, honestly. And it was, I've taken this to the beach. Um, I've taken this to like my mother-in-law's house. It's great 
for when you have idle hands, but you want to be busy with something. So that is what is happening with crochet. And then with knitting, I haven't done any knitting, not, a, not even one single stitch of knitting. I have not been in the mood lately. Honestly, like I said, the last like probably four, four or five weeks since I got my friend's dog, I've been watching my friend's dog for the last five weeks. She's coming to collect him tomorrow and I'm so sad. Uh, he's been such a good boy, Cosmo. Um, ever since we got Cosmo, I've been diamond painting more because it doesn't require as much focus as like the knitting does. And um, yeah, and it's been, it's been wicked hot a few times. So yeah, just remember, please remember to drink your water, <laughs> take your medication and all that stuff. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Um, other updates. I can't think of anything, honestly, other than um, oh, 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 no, I know. I know what I wanted to show you. Hang on a second. I remember what I wanted to show you. We're going to go on a tour. I hope you're still here. Let's go. There is this thing called Needlework Expo. I don't know if you know about it. This is stitching related as well. Um, but I don't know if you know about it, but Needlework Expo is a kind of design showcase that happens at the end of the year every year for autumn and if you go to misslaypages.com you'll see a lot of the new releases and you can pre-order them so if you go into the shop and i think you have to click needlework expo new releases they come up and oh my goodness like these are so cute i don't know i don't know about y'all but <laughs> There's something really special about this, but I love Hello from Liz Matthews anyway. Um, I am going to say that these are all going to be paper patterns. None of these are digital. So if you are a fan of the paper pattern, please, please, please go over and support your local needle workshop or my friend Jesse. I really, really would like to get some of these. Where is the one that I was looking at earlier that I just could not? Well, First of all, can we just talk about this? Have the best autumn available to you? Does that sound familiar to you? Love it. I love it. Um, there, there are a lot of really cool patterns. There are still some that haven't come in yet. So, <laughs> what the cluck? <laughs> They're, they're still coming in. Um, you can, like Jesse says at the top of the page here, you can use the code to combine orders to save on shipping on every order after your first. So you do not have to wait for all of the releases to come up on the website in order to buy. You can, you can pick and choose as you want, as if you were in the shop yourself. So please go check out misslaypages.com uh, for all of your stitchy needs wrong one okay still getting used to this i hope the sound was okay uh i got a new microphone so fingers crossed thank you all for spending time with me today i hope you had a good time i did thank you for letting me do my adult show and tell um i hope that you all have a wonderful week i will see you all in my next video take care of yourselves and happy stitching